I want to show you guys something really cool that you can experiment with that is completely free. You can generate 3D objects from an image using artificial intelligence. So this is a Viking toy that I generated very quickly and I want to show you how this is done. First of all, you're going to need a Hugging Face account. Once you've created one, sign in and then head over to this link, which is in the description of this video. It'll bring you over to this page and major props to GeniePick for providing this Hugging Face space. So this Hugging Face space allows you to use Flux to generate images in 3D style. So something that looks like it's been 3D modeled. And in my opinion, uh, you want to generate images that look like toys because this is when you're going to get the best results. You can try more realistic imagery, but I've noticed with more simplified shapes, uh, that's when the AI tends to reconstruct it a lot more accurately. So the prompt that I used for this image is a cute simplified toy Viking man with an orange beard. I left everything else default and then I just clicked on generate image and this is what I got. So you'll notice the images that you generate on here are going to always have these white backgrounds, which is perfect uh, because in the next step, the AI is actually going to remove this background. So without having any other distractions in the images, it makes that you know background removal process a lot easier. So once you've got your image, obviously go ahead and download it. So just click on this icon. It's going to download it in a WebP format, which is fine. So just click on save, save that to your desktop. And then we're going to head over to our next Hugging Face space. So now if you check the link in the description of this video, it's going to bring you over to this page. And this is where the magic unfolds. So this is called Trellis. So major props to Jeffrey for providing this Hugging Face space. And this is essentially what's going to turn our image into a 3D model. All you have to do right now, grab your WebP file that you downloaded and just drag and drop it into the image prompt section. So now the AI is automatically going to remove the background. As it says over here, they use remove background to remove the background of the image. So you can see it shows a black background, which means that the background has been successfully removed. So at this point, we can actually click on this drop down arrow, but I left all of these settings default. All you have to do right now is click on generate. All right, so it's going to uh, basically look for one of the GPUs until they become available. And you can see over here, it's going to generate this, this mesh in approximately 21 seconds. Uh, it might take a little bit longer than that. Uh, but yeah, it's basically going to turn this image into a 3D model. So just watch the magic unfold. So this actually took 31 seconds to generate, which is absolutely mind blowing to me. So this is the video that it generates. And at this point, the 3D model has actually been generated. So it's showing you a 360 degree preview of what the 3D model looks like. And if you're happy with this result, we can actually move on to the next step. So in order for us to actually download this 3D model, we need to convert it to the GLB format. And the GLB format is actually quite awesome because it bundles everything into a single file. So you've got the 3D model as well as the textures contained in one file. So over here by GLB extraction settings, click on this drop down arrow. And the only thing I'm going to change over here is the texture size. So I want this on the max value. So that's 2048 pixels. Uh, so that's just going to give me a much higher quality texture size for my 3D model. And then under simplify, I just leave it on 0.95 and I'm just going to click on extract GLB. And then it's going to go through this process. It'll give you another estimation. But at this point, it's converting it to the GLB format. And once it's done, you'll be able to click on download GLB. So once it's converted it to the GLB, you can actually view the 3D model. So this is what your 3D model looks like. You can left click on here and zoom in with your mouse to see the 3D model how and how it's actually being constructed from an image. So this is mind blowing that AI can do something like this. Um, the world of 3D AI is improving at a rapid rate. And even with something as simplified as, you know, something that looks like a toy, uh, this is this is incredible that it can do this and then okay so what you want to do right now is click on download glb and you can now save out this format so you can save that to your desktop and i'm just going to do that right now and then you can import that into your 3d program of choice whether that's cinema 4d or blender or maya and you can have fun with this 3d object that you've generated from an image so of course this is 100 percent free but it's not unlimited meaning that if you keep trying this uh, you might get this error message which says that you've exceeded your free GPU quota, but you can subscribe to Pro uh, to get more usage. However, you still manage to generate a 3D model completely for free. So if you're using Blender like me, just go to File, Import, and then there is the GLB format. 
find wherever you saved your 3D object. You can leave this default and just click on import. So there's our 3D object. So I'll go ahead and just scale this up. And you can see it's created a 3D object from a 2D image. All right, we've got the entire structure over here. If you were gonna use this as a base to start with and maybe rebuild this, I think this is saving you a whole lot of time uh, because I mean, here we go. You've already got the entire structure created for you. Uh, so right now it looks like, obviously it looks like there's no material on here and that's because we need to switch from solid to material preview, but I'm actually going to go to render display, right? And I'm going to bring one of these lights in my scene a bit forward over here. We can maybe increase the intensity as well. Maybe go to just say 3000 for now. Uh, I might duplicate that with Shift D. Uh, but yeah, there we go. I can also select this object and right click and just go to Shade Smooth. All right, so that the mesh looks a lot better. Uh, and yeah, there we go. I'll also just duplicate this light and maybe put one behind him. So this is currently rendering with Eevee. Uh, but there we go. We've created a, or I should say generated a 3D model from an image. Now you can still see there's obviously some issues with the generation of the 3D model, some issues with texturing and all of that. If you guys want to, you can obviously view, uh, if I go to shading, uh, you can also, uh, you can see how this has been set up. It's connected to a principal BSDF. Uh, you can also view some of the UVs, which are <laughs> extremely chaotic. And that's why I said this is obviously far from perfect. Uh, and if you guys wanted to, if there were maybe some texturing issues on here, you can just paint on top of this mesh. So if you switch from object mode to texture paint, you can now paint directly on the mesh. So in this case, if I choose something like white and decrease the radius over here, I can now paint over here by his eyes. So I can continue painting additional details on top of the 3D model. Like here on the back, maybe we want a heart. All right just quickly <laughs> trying to paint that with my mouse. You can start painting on top of the 3D model as well if you want to modify it further. But yeah, so this was from image to 3D model very quickly and very easily using artificial intelligence. You can also go to the shading and if you want to over here by the color factor on B, you can just increase this value and put it all the way to white if you want your texture to be a lot brighter or you can just get rid of that color factor altogether and directly connect the base color to the base color, if that's what you want. Uh, but yeah, I'd say this is not bad for, you know, AI image 3D generation. Uh, I mean, if we press tab, and let me just enable this again to show my overlays. I mean, you can look at the topology, right? it's not perfect, uh, but this is not bad, right? For something that can be generated in under a minute, <laughs> Uh, yeah, we will see where the world of uh, AI is going with 3D generation, but I think this is a fantastic start. And this is just a quick tool that you can use online to do this completely for free. I do want to highlight another service from hyper3d.ai. It does the same thing. You upload an image and it turns it into a 3D model. This one, however, has additional options. You can see you can save it in various formats. You can even generate PBR material. So think of PBR in this case, like the AI, uh, the AI will analyze that this is metal and apply a different material property to it. So this will look a lot shinier in relation to, you know, what the skin should look like, which would look a lot more flat or like a matte material. So PBR really comes in handy. It's called physical base rendering. And then you've got, uh, you can see over here, you can save it in 2K resolution. And if you pay, you can go all the way up to 4K. And I did a direct comparison. So this is Trellis and this is Hyper 3D AI. Uh, but for a completely free solution, I still think Trellis does a, quite a good job, all right? Again, these, these 3D models are not perfect. Uh, but it's still amazing that AI can generate a 3D object from an image. So go ahead and give both of these a try and let me know which one you like better. All right, so you guys let me know what you think about this. We can now generate 3D models from images, which is insane. Uh, hopefully we'll get some better tools with AI that can actually help with retopology. Uh, but the fact that we can, you know, generate something like this incredibly quickly, or maybe even use it as a base to start with, I think is extremely beneficial. And as a 3D artist, I think it's amazing to use. Uh, so you guys let me know what you think. 
Uh, you guys are super awesome and stay tuned for some more videos and tutorials and goodbye.